Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video I will show you how to downgrade your iPhone 3G back to iOS 2.0. As you can see here, I got an iPhone 3G running iOS 4.2.1. Let's quickly jump in the settings and I show you this. As you can see here, the device currently is running iOS 4.2.1 and it's working pretty good and today I will show you how to downgrade your device back to iOS 2 so did I recommend to do this absolutely not I got a full review on the device running iOS 2.0 I'm gonna put this link in the description another youtuber called the Apple buyer did this downgrade as well it was his idea to do this downgrade first I've seen his video and I will do the same thing show you if you find mine one first or his one but I'm gonna put his link for the review and the downgrade into the description so I don't know if this method will work for Mac I only tested out on uh, Windows but if you follow me on my social media I'm gonna probably talk about the downgrade on a Mac so let's just get started so what you're gonna do first is open your browser and open up this website so this website is called ipsw.me I'm gonna put the link in the description so if you go on this side the first thing you're gonna do is click on iPhone then choose an iPhone you're gonna scroll all the way down to iPhone 3G and then it's gonna bring you to a site where you can choose your version so I think most of you guys running iOS 4.2.1 as you can see there are many options so if you are running iOS 4.2.1 you're gonna click on it then you have several informations and then you look on the file name and you click on download so I don't gonna click download because I already downloaded it and the second thing you have to do is go to this website I'm gonna put this link as well in the description basically this website is if you click here on the download button the big green one content the the custom IPSW for iOS 2.0 so when you click on it most of time your computer gonna say this is a virus but don't worry guys it isn't a virus I tried it several times and my computer isn't affected by anything so the last thing you're gonna download is Red Snow I got Red Snow 9.6 beta 6 this isn't available anymore so I recommend you guys to download the newest version after Red Snow 9.6 beta 6 so this is just wait a second if I jump in my download I got this it's Red Snow 0.9.6 RC16. This should work as well. If not, I cannot help you guys. Try it on all versions of Red Snow. Maybe one's working. So, what you're gonna do now is plug in your device. As you can see, my device is right here. I'm gonna take the cable and plug it in. So, now it's charging. Unlock it so it works perfectly. What you're gonna do now is Open up Red Snow 9.6 Beta 6. Okay, I should pop up. No need this. Close it. So then click on Red Snow. And then welcome to Red Snow. So what you're gonna do now is click on Browse. And it's gonna bring you to your download section. So basically, I downloaded the IPSW two times for the iPhone 3G on 4.2.1. Because sometimes if I click on the first one, as you can see, unable to recognize specified IPSW so what you're gonna do is browse and choose the other one you've downloaded and sometimes you have to do several times to try but if you try it several times you're finally gonna get it so if I click on another restore as you can see there's a little one at the end you click on open and now it says processing firmware and the IPSW has successfully identified so what you're gonna do is click next and now it's patching the kernel and preparing all jailbreak data. This may take one to two minutes, but it's pretty fast. Okay, now you are please select your option. So what you're gonna do is uncheck install Cydia and uncheck enable battery percentage. You're only gonna check the last one saying just enter pawn DFU mode. So now click next. And now it says please make sure your device is off and plugged into your computer so if it's not 
plug first the device in and turn it off. So what you're going to do now is unlock the device, focus on the device right now, hold down the power button until you see that and then slide to power off. So the device should be off right now. So now you click on next and follow the on-screen instructions. I'm going to read those. Click on next and then hold down the power button for two seconds without releasing the power button also hold down the home button for 10 seconds and then without releasing the home button release the power button and hold the home button for about 15 seconds you can see that's what I'm doing right now so okay now we're waiting for reboot so now it's done just go back to red snow close the Okay, iTunes says um, there was an iPhone detected on recovery mode, so you click OK. My computer, OK, no. So then you go back to Red Snow and click on Finish. Close this, go back to iTunes. Okay, don't recognize it, so you click X and go back into iTunes. So now it should recognize your device. Okay, there is the pop-up message. So iTunes has detected an iPhone in uh, recovery mode. You first need to restore the iPhone before you can use it with iTunes. So as you can see, the device is turned off. Let's turn on the light. You can see it a bit better, I guess. Let me adjust the camera a bit, focus. Okay, so as you can see, the device had now a black screen. Don't show anything on the display. So, make sure iTunes is recognizing the device. So, as I said before, the iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You're just going to click OK. And then you have several options. So, the first one was eject iPhone. The second one is search for update, but this is grayed out. So, you only can restore the iPhone. So, what you're going to do is press Shift on Windows. And at the same time, you click, you left click. On your mouse for restore iPhone so bring it to a page on download and you're gonna choose the custom iPhone 1 2 2.0 IPSW you just downloaded so then you're gonna have this pop-up message you're gonna so you're gonna have this pop-up message what you're gonna do is choose the custom iPhone IPSW you just downloaded before and if you click on it, you click open. So and now iTunes should be working on this device. As you can see, I'm focusing on the device. Just reduce the brightness on the back a little bit. So, so now you're gonna have a white screen on the phone, but no worry, that's totally normal. Now you have the Apple logo and see you in about 10 to 15 minutes okay now your device after about two minutes should show up this the apple logo and the endless spinning wheel as you can see there on the bottom but no worry guys now it should take 10 to 15 minutes to install ios 2.0 um Basically, the phone didn't freeze at this stage, it only shows this one because it's a custom IPSW. So don't worry guys, and see you back in about 10 minutes. So guys, welcome back. Um, as you can see, the device is booting right now. You can see the Apple logo. You don't need the computer, so you can plug off the device. We're gonna wait until it boots. Um, it should boot pretty fast because it's on its original firmware. So we... So as you can see, the device is just booting right now. Okay. Um, as you can see, the device is jailbroken and got the installer. So I to the other page, as you can see. Now we're gonna jump into settings quick show you 
that the device is really running iOS 2.0 as you can see here version 2.0 so so again this method wasn't found by me it was the Apple buyer who found this method I will link his channel down into the description I gonna link his video as well down in the description I gonna show you the review I gonna put this link in the description as well I gonna put to say it easier I gonna put all links I showed in the video down in the description all links for the IPSW, the custom IPSW and the Red Snow download I gonna put in the description as well as those links for the Apple buyer, his method to downgrade, my review and the Apple buyer's review they are pretty much the same so if you like the video please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, Merry Christmas for all of you guys and peace out.